Hey guys, you're out of time for summertime. Today we have here... Letitia Wright. I'm so excited to be able to interview you. I saw the Wakanda Forever and how you played your character, Shuri. It was beautiful. Thank you. And I want to say that when I first met you, I'm like, wow, you're just like how you are in the character. Beautiful, brave, thank you. and bold. Thank you. So I want to say a big thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing thank me on you. your show. You're welcome. So when you first learned that you would be playing in Black Panther, did it cross your mind that you would be the first black female to have the leading role as a superhero and what that would mean for black girls around the world? Um, when I first got the role, it wasn't... Shuri becoming the Black Panther wasn't the main focus. It was just about her being this really cool sister um, who happens to be a princess, who happens to be like really intelligent in terms of science. So it was just about a positive portrayal as a black woman. And I was really excited about that. I was really excited about the ways in which young black girls around the world could see Shuri and be so inspired. Um, and then, of course, it elevated into something different, which in the comic books was always going to happen. Mm -hmm. But... It just, yeah, it just elevated uh, a little bit more in the second film. So yes. I'm really proud of it. Yeah. When I watched the movie, I was like, wow. Like how it was from Black Panther to Wakanda Forever. Yeah. You are my favorite character. Thank you. You're welcome. So looking back on the movies, Black Panther and Wakanda Forever, how did you feel about your work? Did, mm -hmm. did it feel like you wanted to play more as a superhero in different movies? Oh, man, that's a good question. Um, I felt really proud of it. I didn't really know much about Marvel before I became Shuri. Um, but again, the focus for me with every role is to just, just be of impact, really. I try to do projects that are really meaningful. Mm -hmm. And for me, Shuri felt really, really meaningful. So looking back at the work from the first film into now, I'm really proud of it because, again, so many young girls around the world can be inspired by her. So overall, I'm really proud. Yeah, I agree with you completely, 100%. Yeah. So what do you wish for people to understand about you about as Letitia Wright? That's a great question. Um, <laughs> that I'm just like everybody else. You know, I'm just um, trying to chase my dreams. I'm trying to leave a positive mark. Um, as I'm here on earth and yeah just I'm just a normal human being you know there's nothing different about me um, in comparison to you you know we're all just trying to fulfill our purpose so mm -hmm. I hope people know that a little bit more about me yeah so guys we're all human beings we're just trying to outlive our purpose and make sure that we can find a way to give back to the earth because God gave us the gifts that we need to help make this world a better place. So keep that in mind. That's so dope. Thank you. So I know that you were born in Guyana mm -hmm. and you have a Caribbean background like me. Where are you from? Well, I'm from the Bronx, but my mom has ties to the Caribbean because some of her family is Caribbean. Which country? It is St. Thomas. Nice, nice. Wow, mm -hmm. that's, that's a first. <laughs> Usually people are like Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad. St. Thomas is the first time I've heard that. Wow. That's cool. Thank you. So, and you moved to London mm -hmm. when you were eight. I also moved from the U.S. to Ghana when I was eight. So oh, wow. what was it like for you to move? Oh, man, it was, as you can imagine, really new. Um, oh, man, it was it was such a change like change of environment in terms of like the weather. It was really different. Um, the different types of foods, you know, I was moving away from like the majority of my family. So it was, it was a new thing for me to like get used to. But I guess this is like where my acting came into play. Like I had to adjust very quickly to being like the kids that I saw every day. Like they sound their accents were different to mine. So I tried mm -hmm. to adjust my accent. So I sounded a little bit like them. I kind of regret that because I wish I'd stayed true to myself. But what do you know when you're a kid, right? You're just <laughs> trying to fit in, right? Um, but yeah, it was really new. But 
um, I adjusted and I learned so much about the, uh, the opportunities of becoming an actress, um, at that age too. So that's really where that, that spark for acting became a reality mm. for me. Wow. Why not in Guyana then? Um, Guyana doesn't really have an acting industry. Mm. Um, and I, I want to change that actually. I'm going to go home for the first time this month in a long time actually. So I want to establish maybe like an entertainment industry where young people that may be inspired by me and what I do could express themselves in a creative manner because usually it's like you're a doctor, mm -hmm. you're a lawyer, teacher. Yeah. Um, and acting is not really something that everybody's familiar with or, you know, so I want to change that a little bit. Yeah, I love that. I love yeah. how you're going to go back and you're going to pour into the very place that you came from. Yeah. That's a good goal. I like it. <laughs> cool. I, I actually really like that goal. Thank you. I'll You're tell welcome. you about it when I achieve it. Okay. <laughs> how important was it for you to visit Ghana and how has the experience been for you? Well, it's always been important for me because my siblings are Ghanaians. They're oh. mixed with um, uh, being Ghanaian and Guyanese. So it was always a country I wanted to visit. Um, and West Africa is just, you know, as you know, you know, our ancestors predominantly came from this side of the world. Mm -hmm. So I really always felt a connection to it. Um, so I've been to Nigeria and then I always wanted to come to Ghana. Mm -hmm. So this time it just felt right. It just felt like the, the necessary thing to do. Uh, all the stars were kind of like aligning to come here. My friends are all here, you know, cool concerts and stuff like you know, the one mm -hmm. that we went to yesterday, Black Star with Chance the Rapper and Erica Badu. Mm -hmm. And all of these beautiful moments was happening in Ghana. And I just wanted to be here. And I'm really happy that I made the trip because, yeah, it's been, I feel like I've been here for like two months now. It's only been a week, like maybe like a week. But we've done so much in a week that um, I'm really fulfilled. So it's been a great trip. Wow. Yeah. And from how you're saying that, I can tell that you really like it. Yeah, I do. I really like yeah, it. Yeah, Ghana's a beautiful place. I mean, like all countries, there's ups and downs, but mm -hmm. Ghana's a very beautiful place. How do you find it? I find it wonderful because I've been living here since I was eight. Wow. So it, it took time to adjust because four seasons back in the Bronx, now it's hot and hotter. <laughs> and hotter. And I was... A bit sad because I miss the snow sometimes, but it's beautiful. I love Ghana. Oh, wow. I never thought I'd hear someone say that they miss the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Especially a black girl. <laughs> That's so cool. I don't know. I just, I, I love the snow. <laughs> oh, dope, dope. Have you, se have you seen any cultural similarities from Ghana and Guyana? Mm, that's really dope. Cultural similarities. Hmm. Man, I'll definitely say like we're very expressive back home in Guyana. Um, we're not too much, we're a little bit in the middle, you know, we'll let you know just enough about, you know, how we feel and how we express ourselves. Um, Guyana, uh, Guyana is really known for its food, um, its history, and I feel like that's like a lot of similarities when I've come here to Ghana, I've, I've, I've realized there's so much history in terms of, you know, our people and, mm -hmm. and the different tribes and, and seeing the ways in which Guyana also has a lot of history that kind of connects a little bit. You know, we were, coloni we were colonized um, very early on and, mm -hmm. and seeing the ways in which the, 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 the different ethnicities back home relates to each other. It's, there's there's a lot of similarities, um, and I'm still decoding it quite a lot. That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about tribes. Yeah. So in speaking of tribes, there is tribes that like name people based on the day of the week that they were born on. Mm -hmm. So have you found out what wow. name you have? That's so cool. I was in the market today. Well, when I first arrived, I learned my name. Um, my Ghanaian name and today I was in the market and she asked me what day I was born um, and I know it's a Sunday so my name is Okusa. Okusua. Okusua. Thank you. Okusua. 
Okay, so that's that's what it is, and I bought it. So oh, wow. that's kind of cool that mm-hmm. you asked me that question. Akusua. Sort of. You get the hang of it. No, 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 tell me. I would have learned. Akosua. Akosua. Yes. Akosua. Like and also, because I'm also a Sunday born too. Wow. They call me Essie. Essie. So how it, come it's not the same as mine? Well, there is different. I don't know how to explain it. Like, people have like many tribes, I guess, and mm-hmm. then they name it differently. Oh. So I have Essie, but. Also a Kosoa. Okay. And because I'm the oldest of my siblings, I'm Mama Essie. Mama Essie. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. So I guess I'm Mama Essie too. And <laughs> okay, cool. Yes. All right. Bet. So we learn something new every day. <laughs> nice, nice. So are there any other languages besides English that Guyana has? Yes. Um, there's a predominant um, culture and, and heritage of Indian people. Um, specifically like, like Bangladesh, Pakistan. Mm. Um, so there's, there's, there's that. And there's also a little bit of Chinese there as well. Um, so some Mandarin. Um, and I think further to the north, we have, um, just uh, the, the history of indigenous people. Um, I don't know the specific language. I think it's, I think, I'm going to say this wrong, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> but um, there are different cultures in Guyana. And yes, I think there's about maybe six languages, if I'm correct. Hmm. Maybe less, but maybe six, I would mm-hmm. say. Wow. I know in Ghana we have like a whole bunch of different languages. I heard it's like 20, 20 something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm learning my way here and there, so I'm practicing. So, have you, and speaking of practicing, have you learned any new words from any language here? Um, oh my goodness, I learned to say thank you this afternoon. I completely forgot. Okay. What it it's medasi. Medasi, yes. Yes. I learned that. And I think, I, I just know like the, the, like the, the ways in which they express themselves. Like, it's not a language, I guess, but, or a word. Um, that's used, um, but it's just like a phrase, I guess. It's like chale. I think <laughs> it's kind of like really cool. So I, I grew up listening to it because my stepdad always says it on the phone. <laughs> so now like being here, they like use it a lot. So chale is like something I throw around. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to come back to learn a little bit more. Yeah. I'm also learning too, so we can learn together. Let's learn together. Yes. <laughs> One last question thank you what encouraging words would you like to share with your viewers Mm, that's a great question what encouraging words i would say it's important for us to to be true to ourselves so i'd encourage everyone to just be patient with finding out who we are Mm. and just being gentle with, 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 with ourselves um, and just know that you're fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, I agree with you completely. <laughs> Those encouraging words I'll always keep in my head and in my heart. Thank you so much. Thank you. Give me a hug. <laughs> you I'm viewers, so proud of you. Like I always say, catch you next time on Summertime. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is much better than just a quick lobby. (laughs) This is so cool. Thank you. Man, you're amazing.